Hi guys, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel, this is Lady Nika. And to give you my review for um, How to Get Away with Murder, this is Season 1, Episode 7. Sorry I'm getting this out so late, but if you watch my Scandal review, and I'm still going through ship this hell, but uh, if you watch my Scandal review, it explains why I'm doing this at almost 6 a.m. in the morning. I had to watch each episode, Scandal first, and then do the review now I've watched uh, How to Get Away with Murder, and I'm coming back in to give the review. Because I love y'all like that. Okay. Well, baby, we are back. Summer, I mean, winter break is over, and the crew is back in effect. Now, on this show, this time, tonight, y'all, well, yeah, it was last night. It's this Friday now. But on the last uh, show that, you know, when we left off, they had killed Sam and everything. So on this show tonight, well last night, it did a lot of reflecting. What they did was actually Shonda went back and did a lot of fill-ins. Wherever we had questions there, they went back and showed you each and you know how we get to the current day, which is now we say uh, we have uh, Wes and Annalise. They talking about the actual murder and stuff because you remember that uh, when uh, on the last episode when um. Wes came in, and he was apologizing to Sam laying there dead. Paul Sam, R.I.P. Uh, Annalise was sitting in the chair, and she told him, don't be. So they discussing that, you know, and she basically telling his ass how to get away with murder. She telling him, make sure that he burns the body, make sure that the DNA, all the DNA evidence is up. And she tells him, you know, I got you in this situation, I'm going to get y'all out. So she's letting him know, I'm not going to run out on y'all because... I basically brought you into this badass situation. Well, she also tells where something that she told his ass before, which is put the shut to the up. Motherfucker, shut up, okay? We all know that Wes is kind of weak, and he will go back and talk to her, you know, Rebecca. But Annalise letting him know, look, I mean it this time, because lives on the line. Keep your damn mouth closed, and I got you, okay? So next... Uh, we see, um, he telling the crew what they need to do, and Annalise is telling him to make sure, uh, no matter what, you keep quiet, you know, um, and, uh, y'all know, he kind of like Annalise, that motherfucker be wanting to talk, but he's, she's also telling him, don't even tell the crew, you know, really, because, I have to protect them as well. And he's like, well, why we can't just tell them the truth so they don't have to carry around unnecessary guilt? Once again, at least telling him, motherfucker, shut up. Got a theory I'm going to share with y'all at the end of this video about that shit, too. But, um, uh, next thing we see, Blondie Bitch show up. Here come Blondie Bitch in there, and she's letting her know that, um, uh, old girl, um, Miss D.A. Bitch. Miss D.A. Bitch, she up in there. And she won't talk to Annalise. And, um, she comes in there, Annalise comes in, and the DA lady is saying that, you know, she, you know, she thinks that Rebecca did do, you know, kill, uh, Layla, uh, Lila Stangard, where the hook, I think that's that whole thing. But anyway, uh, the DA is just set on that being the case, and no girl's like, look, my husband probably did it, but he ain't here, and I ain't seen the motherfucker, and, uh, what I'm gonna need you to do is, deuces, bitch, get out, in other words, get out. So she put this whole up out of there, right? And so, uh, and at least let the the uh, students know, you know, we got to get Rebecca cleared, okay? That's the most important thing right now. We need to get her cleared so that we can get, you know, make it look like Sam actually was the killer or whatever, you know? So we got to make sure we get Rebecca cleared. And they have like three days to get this shit done. Meanwhile, the, uh, Police wants to talk to each one of the students by themselves. Now, y'all, they, they being rehearsed. They know what the fuck to do. But I guess, you know, not knowing everything, you know, the specifics of everything, got them feeling some kind of motherfucking way, so them bitches are slowly unraveling as these people talk. Now, they hold their shit. They hold their shit. But you can see that they kind of, like, coming apart and shit at the seams. Because there's some wild shit going on, according to them, right? And during that period, 
you know, uh, Rebecca is telling Wes, like, you know, she feels like Annalise is involved. And he's like, Annalise is not involved. Why do you think that way? She's telling him, well, Annalise knows, you know, way too much information. You know, how she know this, how she know that. And he's telling her, look, don't worry about Annalise. Just, you know, let us do what we do. Basically, be shut up because we're trying to save your motherfucking ass, too. And in between that time, we see old Michaela pray. <laughs> Michaela pray. She goes to get, you know, a fitting for her wedding gown. And child Michaela has been under so much damn stress that bitch the lost weight. I mean you they are literally just unraveling because although they chose this career field, they never expected to be in all of this shit and they don't know everything like Wes and Annalise know. Okay. Alright, um, so next we see Laurel. And Laurel is basically, she cracking, y'all. Laurel is like, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not going to do no lying. But they, you know, between Connor and um, Michaela, they're able to, you know, get her talk down. And she go in there and talk to the police. And she's pretty good. You know, she does what she has to do. She keeps the story like it's supposed to. All of them did, really. All of them stuck to the story. But it, you can see that it's taking an effect on each and every one of them in their own little way. And next we see Connor, Michaela, and Laurel, and um, they they go to testify, and Annalise comes in, and she's telling them, look, I got y'all, okay? I'm not going to let nothing happen. Just follow the status quo, and we're going to all be able to be cool up in this thing, okay? And um, it's at that moment, y'all, guess who pop up on the scene? Anna Keaton, baby. Sam's sister. That bitch coming in there talking about she didn't let the police know that her, her brother is not no damn murderer. So, Annalise is, I mean, uh, uh, Anna gonna be a problem. I can see where that's going. That's gonna be a, uh, she gonna be a problem for them. And I can't wait to see how they get this shit together. Because, you know, this is one of my favorite shows. It's on and live a bit. And y'all might say, how you like this so much and this review is short? Well, the review is short because they ain't really give me a whole lot tonight. Like I said, it was about a whole lot of re reflection. But let me share one with y'all that I was thinking. Now, I don't know who else may have said this here. But I went back and I looked at, you know, before the season ended. And, and you know, went on break. And, y'all, I got a theory. I'm throw my ass out there in that water. Well, if I'm wrong, y'all, okay, I will eat, you know, crow. Not literally like that stupid bitch Wendy, but, you know, I say I'm sorry. But being a conspiracy theorist I, I am and loving this show to the degree that I do, y'all, I think that, and, and, and follow me now, I think that Wes is actually Annalise's son. I do, because if you remember, go back, y'all, go back, and say, Sean, say, let's go down memory lane on a bitch, but, remember, Annalise did have a baby, and that baby was given up for adoption, and remember, when she first got with Sam, Sam was married to another motherfucking bitch, Annalise and Sam had a, a, a extramarital affair, where there was a baby, that was born, but that baby was given up for adoption. I'm willing to bet y'all. And I'm, I don't know, you know what? i tell you what. I'm so certain of this. I am certain of this here. I gotta figure out what to do. I gotta figure out something to do. But mark my words, y'all. It before this show ends, we're gonna find out that Wes is that damn little baby that Annalise had by Sam when he was still married to the other motherfucking woman and they was they was creeping and shit. I'm willing to bet you. Now if you feel differently or you wanna add on to what I said, please do it in the comments. Let's talk about this because I, I that's I really believe that. I remember when they when it was revealed that Annalise had an affair with Sam before they got married because Sam was married to another motherfucking woman. Annalise got pregnant. That baby was given up for adoption because he still was married. I'm willing to bet you that she just, uh, I'm willing to bet you that baby is Wes. Before it's all said and done, I'm willing to bet you that that is uh, Annalise's Wes mama. Now please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.